Hey guys, welcome uh, to my humble abode. Um, I've been watching a lot of Connor Ward, the Lawn Care Nut, Ryan Knoll. Um, just trying to figure out which direction I wanted to take my lawn. So what I figured is, I'm already like three steps into the process, but I might as well YouTube it and let you guys see as we take this journey to go from four and a quarter inches all the way down to, you know, one inch or maybe even five eighths of an inch. I would like to get my lawn to look exactly like Connor Ward's. Um, it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of work. I have roughly 61,000 square feet of, of grass. Um, so to kind of catch you guys up as to what I've done already is um, I did my fall prep. Okay, so I live in Michigan. Uh, I got definitely have a cool season grass. Mainly what I have here is um, kind of a landscape mix, but more Kentucky bluegrass. So I decided to grab some perennial ryegrass and throw that down. So I aerated yesterday. Uh, the day before that, I cut it from four and a quarter inches all the way down to three and a quarter. And with the perennial rye, any germination time is anywhere from six to ten days. So that'll give me enough time uh, to let that those seeds sprout and then cut it down. I'm going to cut it down to about two and a half. Um, definitely not going to do another inch for my lawn. It, it's pretty thick to begin with. Um, so I have a, a 62 inch skag and you know I've just put some new Gator G6 blades on there if you haven't check those out I'll put a description in below they are fantastic mulching blades but nonetheless taking an inch off you know there's a lot of stops I do have a lot of uh, overflow that I didn't really clean up as well as I probably should have um, but with it being Michigan our temperatures are dropping and we have some rain scheduled for the next couple of days. So I wanted to get the seed down, at least get that process started. So let's go ahead and take a look around the yard. With my seed, I actually have, this This is like a high traffic area. And what I've done over the last couple of winters is I've not really cared so much when plowing. So I've actually ripped a lot of the lawn up. So I, I did a high traffic Scott's blend just for this area here. Um, what you see is I did top dress it with some compost and uh, throughout this journey I am going to be leveling the lawn um, but I do realize that I got a yard and it didn't really do anything as I wanted it to. So you know you got a lot of hills and valleys. Um, I was a speedster with my mower so I've definitely carved out some spots around the tree bases, uh, a little bit around the fire pit. This Craigslist is like my best friend, so I've got all these landscape blocks for free. I'm going to end up doing a landscape paver all the way up to the um, deck, so stay tuned for that. So i got quite a bit of yard, as you can see, and this is just the beginning portion of the backyard. We wrap around to the side yard. Well, let's go over to the soccer. So we're avid motocross riders around here. Um, everyone from my four-year-old daughter up. So this was um, <laughs> kind of a makeshift rhythm section or whoops, if you will. But I had a mishap with um, some 2,4-D weed killer up in the front. I was trying to get rid of some Canadian thistle. I ended up destroying my wife's seven flats of flowers. So I took the dirt from up there, I scraped it all out, and I brought it back and filled in these spots. I got a lot of just patchy areas, a whole bunch of earth showing. Soon I hope that I can obviously, you know, fill this in with some grass because it's just terrible. This is where the kids play soccer, so this is all worn down. I just planted these green thujas two years ago. Um, if anybody has any insight on how to get these guys to grow per the package, that would be amazing. Said four feet a year. I've done pretty much all the watering necessary, fertilization, and uh, you know I only have a couple of them that are reaching four, four and a half feet. You know this guy was going strong, and all of a sudden just died on me. 
So you see all these open areas along as uh, those were. I did plant them every five feet just so I can get some privacy screening from my neighbor and kind of cut down on the road noise. Um, but those were the ones that died. And I know in the beginning it was partially my fault. I didn't re understand the sensitivity of these and I had an accident with the weed whip. So here we are at the side yard. It's got a lot of grass. So we're going to take you over to the side of the house here. This is where two years ago I had a water main break. I live on a well and uh, it just pooled up. So I took a lot of this compost and filled it in, covered up all the seeds so that we could have some uh, contact with some soil, but also to fill in the bare spots and get us a beginning, uh, you know, good base layer. So here we are in the front. Now again, we moved in in August of 2014, so we really didn't have much time in 2014 to do anything. So I really heavily seed, or, um, fertilized with the company Progressive Irrigation since uh, 2015. And I will tell you that I'm not upset with the appearance of my lawn, how thick it's been. You know, I get a lot of compliments from my neighbors. So this is where I left the trail of stuff that I'm not really pleased with myself with, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So my neighbors have said that uh, my lawn hasn't looked this good since they've lived here, and one of them's been here for 20 years. So i got to be doing something right. But when you look at Connor Ward's, there's just something about that fairway-style turf that's appealing to me, and that's really what I want to try and do. So... We are in the process. I'm a lawn striper, so you'll see I'll post a lot of pictures. I'll uh, actually this next one coming up is going to be my lawn previous. We're going to do pictures, and then here's the areas of where I have the Canadian thistle, and I still have it. So I did Gordon's LV 400. Uh, I didn't dilute it as well as I should have, but it's taking over. So is the crabgrass. It's killing my flocks. You know, we had some salvia inside of here and here. You know, there's three more on the back sides. Those are dead. But I did heavy amount along the edge of this brick. And if you see here, these guys aren't, they're not happy. They're not happy at all. So we're going to update this landscape edging. And you guys are going to be a part of the process. Now, one thing I do need to say is that I do not have an irrigation system. Uh, that is something that I will be working on. Here's my uh, lawnmower just destroying it. Now I had this uh, big idea that I could mow the lawn. Hi Bella! You know in 40 minutes or less and I realize now that it's caused me more problems than it's done me good. So a lot of these areas we have a big camper in the back there and uh, a couple of soggy days have driven over the lawn, and that uh, is not good at all. So I filled that in. What we used today was uh, Groundworks Perennial Rye, and then I thought I had enough Melorganite. Clearly, I was wrong. So I only got four bags, and they're 36 pounds each. So I need definitely more compost to level out, fill up these little uh, short spots and bald spots all over the yard, and then I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch more Melorganite. Um, but, never used it, this will be my first time using it. I'm interested to see what the results are. You know, again, three days ago I cut this, and it's not horribly brown. I probably could have gone lower. I'm not competing for brown, I'm just trying to uh, Start the process. Top of the uh, brain fart here. Compost and then melorganite. So we're going to go ahead and water this today just because I think the rain's held off for the rest of the day. Doesn't look, doesn't look promising to get any type of water. 
So I'm going to water it today, and then uh, we've got 80% chance tomorrow and Friday, so I should be all set there. And uh, I'll take a couple of vids here over the weekend, um, you know, day four update, and then I'm going to come back on day seven and get an update. I'm going to take you to these bear spots. This is where urine was for my dog. Um, I got some new uh, grass saver pills and they have been working so for those of you that are skeptics on grass saver those pills are amazing Bella is oh, 73 pounds so I gave her four pills a day it was like fourteen dollars for a month supply and to uh, protect these things from coming back it's definitely well worth it so we'll keep you uh, posted and updated and uh, the bearded beginner is out thanks guys